Understanding the difference between custodial and self-custodial wallets is an essential part of keeping your crypto secure for the years to come. I gave the keys away with my stupidity. The term custodial wallet means there is a custodian like Coinbase who can access the cryptocurrency in your wallet. These centralized services have control over their users' crypto, and this can lead to some pretty bad outcomes. For example, Coinbase recently released a document suggesting that in the event of a bankruptcy, the exchange might use customer deposits to pay off creditors. Don't look now, but there's something funny going on over there at the bank, George. Celsius is another great example of why custodial wallets can be dangerous. The centralized lending and borrowing service, with more than $10 billion in assets, recently blocked all customer withdrawals. Due to an overinvestment in state Ethereum and a large loan on MakerDAO, Celsius doesn't have enough liquid assets to give everyone their money back. It's now unclear when or if Celsius will allow their customers to access their own money. As you can see, when you use a custodial wallet, you don't have full control over your crypto. A non-custodial wallet is the opposite. Non or self-custodial wallet means there's no need for a custodian or a third party to have access to your cryptocurrency. That's because the private keys to your wallet are stored directly with you. The only thing you have to do to keep your wallet safe is to protect your passwords and your 12 or 24 word seed phrase, which allow you to recover and restore your wallet on any device. Exodus is a great example of a self-custodial wallet. No matter what happens, Exodus can never access any of your crypto or stop you from transacting with it. Hardware wallets are also non-custodial and they're one of the safest ways to store your cryptocurrency. To send crypto from a hardware wallet, a user has to push a button on the device, which guarantees that a hardware wallet is almost impossible to hack. Not your keys, Jotham. Not your keys, not your coins is a common phrase in the blockchain community. Using a non-custodial wallet is the only way to hold your private keys and take complete control over your coins in your wallet. One of the best things about crypto is that for the very first time in history, people have full control over their digital assets. With cryptocurrency, you really can be your own bank, but only if you're willing to be your own custodian. Thanks for watching everyone. We've got a lot more videos for you, so click any of these videos so you can keep watching. And don't forget to like if you liked it and sub if you dug it.